Michael, congratulations. Back Thank here you. in Wolverhampton in front of the fans, and you put on a show for them. Yeah, I think I think I did the right things at the right moments. I think you can't really complain. Uh, I did the right things. I put it under pressure from the beginning. You, you know, Lisa is capable of doing really good things, and you need to make sure you, you put the pressure on her, and that's exactly what I did. 105 average as well. Set a bar for everyone else to try and catch? Not for everyone else. It's just for myself. I don't care about any, anyone else. I just need to make sure I do the right things for myself. And uh, I think it's a great start for me to start off the tournament uh, with a 5 0 for the group, for the. Yeah, it's nice. You look as if you really enjoyed it up there. Did winning the Pro Tour like, almost let the shackles off you again? Yeah, of course. Winning tournaments always gives you a lot of confidence. and I, I know the pressure is always on my shoulders and I always have to perform, but to do it time after time is not that easy. And you have to keep investing in yourself and keep performing. And uh, that's yeah, what I'm doing at the moment. But, and it's always playing off. That's, that's the other nice thing. It must be very satisfying to know the hard work you're putting in is now on show for everyone. Yeah, of course. It's now we start to pay off and uh, when you keep performing the games like this it's only a matter of time uh, other tournaments yeah coming as well speaking of those other tournaments it's a busy time of year isn't it we've got the slam love the players it. championship and the big one on the horizon is all eyes on that one now yeah of course the, the most important one is the, the world championship don't get me wrong i think the grand slam does a really big tournament the players championship finals as well so you need to make sure you, you keep remaining your focus and you can't afford any mistakes because if you make them they're there to grab you and i always say i believe in my own opportunities and in my own cap uh, capability and from here on i I think there's more in the tank. It's important for you now just to get the group sign up and then move on to the longer format here. The longer format uh, would be great, but uh, there's still two games to go in this group, and I need to make sure I remain my focus in this group and keep focusing. I'm going to play uh, the winner of John Henderson and Joe Cullen tomorrow night, and I uh, hope I can uh, do some good damage tomorrow night as well. I know you've practiced with Fallon a lot and obviously shared the stage with her in Copenhagen. Are you going to stick around and watch her play, Peter? Uh, no, no, I won't, because I'm probably going to make a few phone calls to my family at home but uh, fair play yeah. I, I hope they put on some good games because I think the crowd deserves that they've been phenomenal tonight Michael pleasure thank you very much thank you very much Michael a lot of talk coming into these major tournaments now is about Johnny and Kezi what was that like a statement from you tonight that nah, you know, when they say it's about Johnny and Gazi, uh it's fine to me but I know when you're at the pro tour or something and when for instance Peter White loses no one even talks about it when I lose in the pro tour it's like a big shot you know what I mean? So I only need to make sure I look to myself and not to anyone else. And I know what I'm capable of. Of course, uh, Johnny had a phenomenal year. Uh, Gurren Price is always a guy who is uh, a good player. He proved himself. But I only need to make sure I do the right things for myself because I know and they know if I play my game, there only can be one winner. Obviously, we saw your first ranking title of the season the week before last. Do you feel like you're in a position to do some real damage now over the next three? Of course, that's what I'm aiming for. That's why I put all the hard work in, and uh, I'm away from home a lot the last few weeks and the next upcoming weeks. And I hope it's going to start to pay out. And uh, uh, I'm aiming for it. I feel good. And uh, yeah, what, what can I say? Any thoughts on the rest of the group, Joe Cullen and John Henderson, still to come? Yeah, I think it's two players. Yeah, who I like to play to two good guys. I know them quite well. We share the same management. Uh, we, yeah, we all three motors dot. So I hope from here on. Uh, I can do some more damage against them players, and I want to do I want to do well in this group. I want to end top of the table, and uh, the only thing what you can do is win your game tomorrow and make sure you keep remaining your focus and do the right thing and try to aim for as much damage as possible. Thanks, Michael. Sure. Michael, you had to wait a long time for that point. What was the emotion like when you eventually got it? Yeah, it was coming. It was only a matter of time because I started playing so good darts in the last few months and I was losing games with 107, 108 averages. They think, how can this happen? But the, the most important thing at that moment, you need to make you remain your focus and keep keep investing time in yourself and make sure you keep winning your games. And that's not always that easy, but as long as you keep believing in yourself, there's a lot of things possible. Thank you. Yeah. Well then, Michael. Thank you, Paul. What about timing? That's what you always say. You won a pro tour last year, uh, last week. Sorry, beg your pardon. 
Are you just getting the right timing now for the rest of the year with big tournaments coming up? Yeah, there's a lot of big tournaments coming up, especially with uh, with this one, the Grand Slam of the Arts, uh, the Play Championship Finals, and of course the World Championships. There's no more room for making mistakes. From here on, you, you want to do the right thing for yourself and uh, for your fans and for my family and for everyone around me. And I think uh, it's possible, especially the way how I play at the moment. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You've won this three times. It's an event you like and you're very good at. You want this back, don't you? You really want this tournament back. Of course I want this tournament back, but that's the, kind of the same for everyone. Next year, I've got a big list for tournaments I want to have back. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the, I, I, I know one came of and. Uh, uh, I had a tough year, everyone knows that, but now things start to get into back into place and that's what I really enjoy. Do you like this format, the group format? Uh, yes, because I got three games. Uh, and no, because it's a short game, because a short game, you can, you can have some surprise in there. And if there's a long game, um, that wouldn't happen that quickly. But. Yeah, from here on, I just need to make sure I do the right thing for myself. If I play Johnny or Joe tomorrow night, I'm going to have exactly the same focus as what I have tonight. And I uh, hope I can do uh, even better. It would be nice. Do you think the big players like yourself uh, prefer this? Because obviously, if they do step up, they get another chance. Uh, uh, correct. Uh, that could happen. But uh, for me, it doesn't really matter. It, it makes darts good to have a couple of different tournaments in here. Uh, you got, of course, the Grand Prix, double in, double out. You got this with the, with the group stage. Ages. They should have a thousand and one tournament instead of the like the, the, the Masters, for instance. Do you know what I mean? To have some different kind of things, I think it's good for the fans as well. It's good to see you playing well again. Thank right. you very All much. The best, the best Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you.